Hey everyone, so in this tutorial we're going to be looking at view components for .NET Core and specifically we're going to be implementing uh, the cart. Let's go ahead into our UI and let's create a new folder called view components slash and let's make a cart view component.cs in there. Alright, let's inherit from view component. Don't want that. Component component. There we go. Um, all right, there's a component. There we go. Let's change the namespace. Component. Yeah. Okay, everything is good. There's a bit of a mishap, but we fixed it. So let's make a constructor. Let's bring up our application DB context, uh, CTX. If I can learn to type today. Okay. And now let's make a public iView component result. And let's say invoke. And let's just say return view, to which we want to pass our cart. So new, get cart. And we need to pass in our session and our context. Now let's just call it here. And now to display our component, we need to create a razor page. So let's create views, shared, components, and cart, default. Now, if some of you know how to use view components in .NET Core, and you're wondering why I'm doing it this way, it's just to show the many ways that you can set it up. So just be patient. If you are watching this, but otherwise, if you know what you're doing, you can skip this. Uh, so let's pass in a model. Let's do shop UI. Oh, no. Uh, application. Cart. Get cart. And response. And because it's an IE numerable, that's what we want to do. Numerable. And wrap the whole thing. Okay, now let's go into our cart real quick. Actually, keep this open. And let's just copy this. And what I want to do is display this, uh, keep the HR, but let's remove the dot cart from the for loop and let's give this just a header. Uh, let's call this big cart component. So now we want to bring up this component somewhere. So let's go into our shared folder. Let's go into layout. And now to bring our component, we need to call await component, invoke async, and pass the name of our component, which is cart. Uh, let's run this and see what happens. So there we go, our big cart component. And we can see that it persists just like our, our layout on every single page. So to make this uh, change a little bit more apparent, let's remove it from here and let's make sure it stays on our product page and our index page. Okay. There it is. Let's add something to it. There we go. So the big comp cart component is in there, but if we go back, there it is. Okay, so what does the big cart component, what does what uh, the for a view component gives us? So the biggest thing is it gives us a second uh, sort of uh, dependency injection layer. So I'm sorry, if we go into our products.cs product file, 
you can see we inject uh, the, our application DB context here and we're doing sort of our own thing here, right? But how we brought it up on the layout, there is no controller for that or, or no CS file for that. So if we bring up a component on the layout page, we you, we can use the view component to sort of access the DB context and whatever uh, whatever else we have in, in our dependency injection layer. So that's really should be your use case and reusability of com and if you have a, a a bit of UI that you want to reuse, this is where you want to use your uh, view component. So let's go a little bit deeper with the view, view components. Let's stop this and let's say string view and let's set the default to default. Okay. And let's pass in the view here. Okay. Uh, another thing we want to do, you don't you don't necessarily need to store your components here. What you can do is you can drag your components folder and you can put it in your into your pages, like so. Now let's remove these. View slash shared. Uh, remove that. And inside our components cart, let's create a small dot HTML. Okay, now let's close this. Uh, yeah, close this, close this. Let's take again the thing we have in the cart. Let's actually take now everything we have in the default page. Let's put it here. Same thing, but we'll call it small cart component. And Let's just remove the HR line. Let's wrap this all in a div. So. And now you can just put the spans here. Okay, so it's all in one line, and let's remove the stock ID because we're trying to have a small one. So let's just put dashes here. Okay, cool. Now, if we go into our cart, and on the bottom here, let's invoke, oh wait, component dot invoke async, and let's invoke uh, our cart, but now we want to pass a parameter. A, actually a new object and there we want to specify the view to be small all right so let's run this so here we're still seeing the big component let's add something oh I forgot to call await here let's refresh and there you can see the small view component, right? So what's happening here? Let's go into our view component. Let's refresh. You can see that we're passing a variable small here, and it's going to choose. It's going to look for a view name inside this cart folder. So you can use, you can basically have different templates for the same data. And depending on the page or the part of the program that you are, you can basically display different UI. I'm going to show that uh, how to actually do that with the cart uh, during the, our uh, checkout process. So let's go just uh, one step further, and I want to show you how to, instead of using Razor syntax, well, uh, still using Razor syntax, but this is more HTML-like. So let's create an HR line here, and what we want to do is go into our view imports. And in here, we want to add tag helpers. And uh, the tag helpers, you can see that the, these ones, these tag helpers are the tag helpers that you will use like ASP4, etc. And these are these tag helpers come from this namespace. Now, our tag helper is going to come from our namespace. So shop.ui. Okay. And uh, now that we have that, if we go into our cart, what we want to do is type in 
VC cart. So you see, we, we're already getting IntelliSense here. And it already knows our, what's it called? Uh, our parameters as well. So this is the way you can call it and you actually get IntelliSense unlike you get it here. So this is actually an easier way to do it. I was actually calling it three times, but there you go. Small com card component, big card component, and the one we invoke uh, through that way. So ideally, you want to use, you want to invoke your uh, components using uh, HTML syntax because you do get better intelligence, uh, and I think it's a little bit more readable. Uh, but yeah, this will be it on view components. Hopefully, you enjoyed uh, this episode. Like, subscribe if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments, and as always, see you in the next episode.